What's wrong with you? Oh, how was your day, Damien? My day, Tanya? My day was amazing. Thanks for asking. I got another fucking note from a job today. Actually, two jobs. Two jobs said fuck you. Oh, and on the way home, I little running with 5 0. They got a little free spirit with their hands. And my face. I was wondering why you look like that. But you didn't ask. Because you don't care. I care. Yeah, right. It's just... It's always something up with you. Always. And I guess I'm just trying to figure out when things are going to turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, really? That's how you feel? Hey, what's going on, beautiful people? I am Wesley from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the world wide web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And actually, I'm on West the Critic. This is not going to be on A Connection TV. And uh, yeah, the one place on the world wide web where we give my honest review on all things cinema. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on Instagram and Twitter, West the Critic. And uh, like this video, comment on this video. Let's get this cinema channel up there and, you know, running with the big dogs. There are a lot of black reviewers out there that do film. If they are, I don't really know of them too much. Well, none of them are like me. So let's get these numbers up, shall we? Anyway, this is gonna be a review under five minutes because it's really not a lot for me to say about this film. Um, on my film reviews, I talk about the actors, I talk about the script, I give a rating, and then I go into spoiler territory. But again, I'm not gonna do that because this review is gonna be under five minutes because it's not much to say about this. Um, the actors, I feel like the actors all did a great job. I, I'm, I, you know, definitely in love with Jenna Ortega and Melissa Barrera did great. Um, Hayden Panettiere, ah, ah. Courtney Cox, ah, it was kind of hard to look at her face. Um, everybody else, great job, right? Uh, the script, a standard scream script. It's like all recycled, like nothing new happens. Like someone follows the movies or there's a reason why they want to kill these particular people and then they want to kill these particular people and then you know people die and then they die same crap nothing new nothing new at all um i would give this film a seven it was cool it was scream one two three four and five all wrapped up into one nothing new nothing overly like wow like um, so yeah, they're gonna find a new mass killer and it's gonna be that. I think, I think honestly for me, I feel like we should get in the space of not finding out who it is. I think the next like three films should be about us not knowing who's under the mask and that person just running amok for a long time until we figure it out. Do something new, do something different because I'm like, what was the point of this film? I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know what was the point of this film. Anyways, it's a seven. Um, go check it out in theaters if you like scream slasher, you know, films. Yay! Um, then yeah, go check it out. It's a seventy-seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes, a sixty-one on Metacritic, um, a seven point three out of IMDb. We're in line with the sevens. Seven, 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 baby. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, that was it. Deuces.